I'm back to exploring mid journey. Let us talk a little bit about perspective. I'm going to use this basic prompt right here Woman New York 35mm lens. I've tried to use the same seed, so I've set it to 1 by default and the same aspect ratio 16 by 9. This is our result. If we just run this using Imagine. And now I've added different perspective tokens different terms that people usually use in photography. Here's our side angle. Not much of a change, especially when we use the left and right side angle. Which journey doesn't really seem to understand what's meant by this. Sometimes you still have to model in center, sometimes it is on the right even though we've used left and vice versa. So this doesn't really seem to work. Here's a wide angle shot. Sometimes works, it's a hit and miss. I also try to use words like extreme before the angle, so extreme wide angle for example. Sometimes it works using that, sometimes it doesn't. On extreme wide angle it didn't make a difference, but for example on high angle it did work. And that's what I've tried next. It was low and high angle. Here's low. It's a little bit lower than the default, but it's not what you would expect. High angle worked very well. We've got it below. Three and four are almost perfect examples of this. And here extreme also worked. So if I made it extreme high angle, you can see that right here one and two are fine and even four. With image three it lost it again. Extreme low angle didn't work, so here once again extreme sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. I've used specific photography terms like centered view, medium shot, zero perspective and linear perspective, but it just got me the default angle, so the default camera perspective. Not much of a change here, so you can't really work with that. And here's linear perspective. Next up we have the bird's eye view and this works very well. So it's an even extremely high angle. What doesn't work is the bug's eye view. Maybe number four, three a little bit. But when you want to have a bug's eye perspective you want to almost be at ground level, floor level. And we don't have that here. What works is from below and from above. So not specific photography terms, but if you add from above and from below, you get a little bit of the camera angle that you would expect. This is even higher than the bird's eye view, at least in some cases. I ran it two times. Let me check the second one. It lost it with number three, but the other ones are clearly from above. Here I've used extremely again, so from extremely below didn't work, from extremely above didn't work that much or didn't add that much either. Aerial shot works. Further away than the bird's eye view. Here's the fish eye lens. This definitely works. And you can also use extreme fish eye lens. So there's something it's worth exploring. Close up shot, it kind of works, but it makes more sense if you specify this. So if you use close up shot, it's okay, but when you want to have a close up of the face, then specify it by saying close up face, and you have this result. When you want to have this extreme perspective from the ground, it seems like this the best prompt to use. It's shot from feet level. And then depending on the result that you've got, number four is fine, but the other ones, for example one and two, you may want to pan that upwards, especially when you want to have a full body shot. You always have to pan when you use an aspect ratio of 60 by 9. Here our floor level and ground level didn't work, but as I've said, shot from feet level, this works and this gives you the perspective from the ground level, on the floor level. Here's the full body shot, didn't give me a full body because of the aspect ratio. You can either now fix this and use instead of 16 by 9, 9 by 16 for example, 
or you can upscale one of these, number four for example, and then use panning down. You have to pan it down maybe two or three times to get an entire full body shot. So I've done it two times here and no feed, so I have to do it a third time. Definitely better to use an aspect ratio that has more height than width. But panning also works. And I've also expanded the shot from feet level right here. And then I've panned it upwards. So the starting point was this one right here. And I've upscaled one and two. So in one she's walking towards us, in two she's walking away. And I've panned both up. This one took only one pan. But here we'll have to pan it two times to have the head in it. And be careful, you can see she's walking away from the camera in three and four, but she's walking towards it in one and two. But the feet are the same, so you may have to use some in-painting here to fix the feet. To show you this here, this is our result for the first one, totally fine, one panning was enough. And here we have to use a second one and you can see the feet, they are natural, the right foot, it walks away, but the left foot, you can see the toes, so it is walking towards us, doesn't make sense, you have to use in-painting then. And here is our three times panning of the full body shot. And that's all I wanted to cover when it comes to perspective in mid-journey. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.